can't you? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were here last year. Yes, I've been here all four years. Oh, minus COVID year, but yeah. What was this like? Well, what what has this been like? What is this day like for you? Um, I think it's just like anticipation for the season to start. Really, um, lots of excitement, lots of feels. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a great day just to be like the season is approaching and um, just gotta get ready for it. Lots of questions. And questions too. Yeah, <laughs> lots of media. <laughs> you just get you get asked the same question over and over again. You feel? Uh, it switches up a little bit, which I like. So. When you reflect on last year, you took a big leap. Um, you kind of had no choice. I mean, at some points, you guys were playing with seven players. You yeah. had to shuffle around the schedule. Last year was a whirlwind. Yeah, it, it was really a lot. Um, it was a lot of uncertainty as well. Um, but going into this season, we really can't think of that or like the what ifs. We really just got to be proactive in like um, playing to who we are every day whether it's practice, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's a game. Um, just making sure we stay true to, our, to, true to who we are as um, UConn and, um, you know, having UConn Nation behind our backs to help us. Do you feel like your role is different this year than it was going into last season? I think my role has gotten bigger in terms of, like, a leadership role. Um, I am a senior now, getting a bit old, but uh, with the incoming freshmen and um, my underclassmen, I think that I just want to be that role model to kind of um, help them become more fearless on the court and just incompetent in everything they're doing. Is that crazy to think about that you're a senior? Yes, it really is. I remember like, you know, Vina Westbrook or like Olivia Nelson Adota, Kristen Williams, like telling me these things. And then now the roles have flipped and I'm sharing my expertise and my wisdom to others. And it's kind of crazy to feel or have that responsibility, but I think it's good for me. I mean, you joke, you say you're old, but when you looked at Liv a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. Where you're like, oh, she's old. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. What does the word leader mean to you? Um, I think a leader can look like different things, can come in different shapes and sizes. I think to me, a leader is just somebody you can rely on or somebody who you can lean on. And I think that's one of the things that I love about this team especially this year, I feel like we're all, we all trust in each other and we're able to lean on each other so that we're able to pick each other up. How is this year's Aaliyah different from last year's Aaliyah? Uh, I don't know, you gotta wait and see <laughs> at this point because we haven't really started the season, but I think just mentally I've gotten stronger and I've just become more of a student of the game and I think that, um, you know, I have goals and I think Coach is helping me just become the pro that I want to be. What have you been working on in the off season? Uh, lots of basketball. Didn't really have too many breaks, but um, I'm just working on develop developing my game, becoming, um, continuing to become a versatile player, dominant player, and just any role that I need to be for my teammates and my coach this season, I'm able to, to be successful in. Not to harp on last season, but mm -hmm. injuries were a big storyline. Yep. You were someone who played the duration of the year. Mm -hmm. While you watched AZ go down and Caroline go down, you started the year without Paige. Mm -hmm. What was that like from your perspective? It was tough. I never liked to see any of my teammates down or not being able to give 100%. Um, but at the same time, I had to step up. I think like coach really helped me navigate all that last season. So that this season, at this point, <laughs> Anything that, any adversity that we're faced with, I know that I'll be able to excel in those type of um, dynamics or those type of environments. So many talented players on this year's team. Oh, yes, so many. What, what are you guys capable of? Too much. Our ceiling <laughs> keeps increasing, our ceiling keeps getting higher. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just excited for everyone to see how well that we played. With and each other. you incorporate a player like KK. Mm -hmm. How, as a senior, are you helping a freshman get involved? Um, you know, I'm telling her to just take chances. Uh, you know, as a freshman, you're coming in with an open mind, not really sure of like the systems or kind of what, what you, what's going on. But I tell her just to be confident in everything she is. You know, her personality is so bubbly, bubble, bubbly and um, she just makes everyone happier with her, um, her energy and um, her charisma. So I think that as she translates that onto the court, I tell her just to be fearless and confident in anything that she does. What do you remember from being a freshman? 
Uh, not really knowing what I was doing, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I think as a freshman, I was just playing basketball, not really thinking much of it, not thinking about like highs and lows, expectations, all that type of stuff. I just came in to play, play with my classmates like Nika and Paige. I think I was just excited just to, you know, uh, pick up a ball with them. Um, but now, as I've gotten older, as I've grown, there's different goals and different expectations that I hold for myself and hold for my team. And I think that um, stepping into that leadership role, I'm able to relay some of that um, information to my freshmen. You have a whole year of basketball to be played, but you see your teammates like Dorka mm -hmm. and Lou get drafted to the WNBA. You're a senior now. It, it's mm -hmm. attainable. Yeah, it is. is I don't know what, what's set for me, but um, I think my focus right now is just of the season, staying in the present and let whatever is to come for me to come in the future. How cool was that watching Dorka in the WNBA playoffs? I know, it was so cool. I think that um, we got to see her when she came to Mohegan um, as well. Didn't get to see Lou in person, but we always connect, we always reach out. And I think that even seeing them up on the screen today, it really brought back feelings of like, those are our teammates, those are who we practice with, we um, battled with, we competed with um, day in, day out last season and to see them uh, living their dreams and being successful. It's just amazing. I'm happy for them. What's next, Aaliyah? <sighs> the season's starting. <laughs> That's next for us. Uh, How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Best of luck this year. Thank you so much. Good to see you. You too.